Welcome back to another video. I'm Ingrid Marie, and in this series, I take you through my solo female van build with no prior experience. In today's episode, I take you through the wall build from start to finish. As you can see, the first step was adding wood framing to the metal frame of the car. I didn't have any specific patterns I followed. I simply added the framing where it fit with reasonable spacing in between. I made sure the frame was stable and would be able to hold the wall up well. In my case, metal brackets were the best solution for especially upper wall framing and regular screws where the framing was slightly behind the metal of the van. And look how perfect. Honestly, I was so proud of myself after every little step of the way of this build for learning how to do all of this with no experience. It came out pretty well, but if I did it over again, I would add horizontal planks as well for better support. The next step was adding insulation. I used 6mm low E insulation, which is a reflective insulation that both keeps the heat out in the summer but traps the heat inside the van once you heat it up. It is bubble wrap with reflectix on both sides, uh, making it a very efficient insulator. I chose to cut my pieces to fit in between the framing to make the most out of the wall space. In addition to this, I added 50mm XPS foam insulation on top, which will help in the winter, definitely, especially as I will be doing van life in arctic climates. The last step was then to make the wall panels and fit them correctly to the wall. I brought the panels into the van many times to see if they fit well or if I had to cut them slightly shorter. I made some cardboard cutouts of the shape around the back wheels and cut the rest from measurements of floor to ceiling length. They did not come out perfect. There were some cracks between the panels and also some gaps where the ceiling is supposed to meet the wall, but functionality wise, they came out well. If you're not a perfectionist, I'd say the wall is one of the easier parts of the build at least if you decide not to have the electrics behind the wall. And it was a big step getting the walls up because it already made the van feel more like home. I also have some sneak peeks of the bed framing, the vinyl floor, and painting the van can't wait to show you the rest and until next time peace